know that yesterday's raids are linked to a sex trafficking investigation. Fox 11's Hal Eisner is taking a closer look into the dark world of sex trafficking and speaking with two people who are working to help get victims out of that world. Trafficking is force, fraud, or coercion. Her name is Kate We Met Waddell. She was a victim of sex trafficking and forced into a very dark world. Guns were held to your head. Oh, yeah. You were threatened. Yeah. She says that at 18, she came to Hollywood. She loved music. This is the industry I wanted to get into. And so now that's being held over my head. Forced, manipulated, and told. If you want to meet these people, this is what you'll do, or you'll be blackballed from this industry. Um, if you want, this is your break. And if you ruin my reputation, I will ruin yours. This is a crime that is happening everywhere. Former Orange County Sheriff's Deputy Clayton Cranford says it happens on the streets, but largely is happening online. And it's a multi-billion dollar industry, and it's outpacing drugs now, actually. Selling people is more lucrative than selling drugs. And more times than not, victims in the dark universe of sex trafficking are blackmailed. Yeah, it could be your... Um, you, you've you've uh, you've obtained some uh, compromising information about a person. Often we're having people uh, maybe engaging in you know sex acts. Maybe it's being videotaped uh, without their knowledge. And it's all a supply and demand. The demand for sex trafficking is likely not to stop tomorrow. In fact, it's going to continue to go up and up. Elizabeth Gagner has been part of the army sex fighting sex trafficking for years and focuses on the sex exploitation of children. The thing about sex trafficking versus, let's say, drug trafficking is that you can sell a drug once and then it's gone. But when you sell a child, you can sell that child over and over and over again. And much of it is done in secret online and often starts with kids who are made to believe only the perpetrator loves them. And initially, the trafficker has the person they're perpetrating think that they're a real boyfriend. And then the person falls in love with them. They're sometimes groomed over a period of a month or even a year sometimes. But sometimes people get away. I was kicked out of the car on the side of the road. And when Kate did eventually get free, she set up homes to help others who are in the very same situation she used to be in. I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News. If you or someone you know is a victim of sex trafficking, you can check out our website, foxla.com, for more information.